Okay, I've come and collared Simon during the uh, <laughs> setup uh, for Warley. New stand like this. Well, this is good. Yeah, it's um, it's a bit more 21st century. Yeah. Um, it's a framework. We got this cloth goes over it like a like a glove. Yeah. Nice and tight, and uh, yeah, it goes up very quickly, and yeah. that's what I like. When you're putting a stand together. I like something to go smoothly and quickly. Yeah, really. No, no it, 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 it's silly things, really. But no, I, no. I, I do like that. Anyway, yeah. normal people would want to know, obviously, what you've got new in the uh, uh, the samples this weekend. Yeah. Um, well, we've we've got the first uh, decorated sample of the uh, princess. Yeah. Um, now it it is first, and I stress it's first. There are errors with it. There's bits on the um, tender which shouldn't be there. They're on the BR tender, not the LMS tender, yeah. etc. So you know, the aficionados will be able to pick that out. Yeah. So um, yeah, th there's that. Uh, we've got the uh, visitor centre 395, which nobody would have seen yet, I don't believe. Um, yeah, we're coming pretty close towards the end of you know the the, the new items that we announced. And you have actually put quite a lot out this year, haven't you? Yeah, we've not achieved all the goals I wanted to do. Um, uh, we, I probably set the bar a little bit too high. Yeah. Uh, and then there was all the business with um, some of our factories having to move at a moment's notice, etc. But we've um, we've tackled tackled that. We've had people out in the far east. Lyndon Davis, the chief exec, has been out there. We've moved a couple of things around. And where we, we're, we're behind on one item, because we, we fix the production dates yeah. through these things. And what's happened is, if we can't hit that date, they put something else in, which is equally yeah. wanted. That's why the packets, some of the packets have come through, etc. Right, okay. So, that, that's so what's still doing. to appear on the shop shelves before the end of the year? Uh, well, we've got, we got a couple of packets, uh, I'd like to think. We've just released the um, uh, Huntley and Palmer. Uh, triple pack. That's a Present lovely set, set actually. Isn't that Because when you announced that, nice, that, you yeah. didn't tell us that it was coming in a nice squish box with a bit of story to no, it. No, I don't. I, I sometimes like to leave these things as a surprise because if, yeah. if you give everything out at once, it yeah. doesn't become a surprise. Yeah. And uh, it, it was one of those packs. I just love it. And I think I've had so many nice compliments about it. It's really, yeah. really been good. Yeah. So that's the, that's the sort of thing. The. Um, uh, Still waiting for the prairies, prairies. and the, prince, we have the princess. The prairie, we have yeah. a prairie there, which we showed at Gaiden a couple of weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> that's coming through. That will probably be uh, January, towards the end of January. We've got the um, sliding door mark threes. Mm. They're one of the groups of tools we've moved to another factory to yeah. ease the backlog. I think they start to come through. I th I think it's March, April, May. Right. No, to come but you've, you've had some good output this year. Two, yeah. two ranges of coaches already, and yes, yes. still the uh, Mark yes. Three scums. So. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No. No. <coughs> it, it, that's you know that's what it's all about. As I told you guys when when we did the press thing, my my ideal my ideal is to say this is what we're going to launch mm. in 2019, 2020, yeah. and and you will get it in yeah. 2019. Yeah. 20. So what are we going to get in 2020? Uh, I've really got to do some work on that. Have you? I've got have to you? do something. Yeah. I have no idea yet. Yeah. They keep asking me. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, you know, after this weekend, I'll probably put yeah, my yeah, mind yeah, to it. Yeah, put some ideas oh, together. Put, yeah, yeah, just knock something yeah, yeah, up and yeah. see what happens, really. So those, those announcements are going to be made early part of January, yeah, aren't they? We're getting, we're going to get you guys down, and we'll show you what we, uh, what we're going to do. It's a big year, obviously, with our hundredth anniversary, um, and then it gets announced the first. Monday in January. And I'm so that's I, Monday the 6th of January. Six. Stand yeah. by your PCs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It gets, uh, the announcement goes out at 9 o'clock yeah. in the morning. Okay. Be interested to see what you come up with. So, yeah, well, well, so have we got something that's relevant to your heritage then? Um, no idea. Probably let you know in a few weeks' time. Keep trying. <laughs> Right, the BRM stands all set up for the uh, the weekend, and as you say, you can probably see things are uh, far from normal behind it. You know what's going on this weekend, but I mean the, there are hundreds of goodie bags behind here, waiting for people to collect that they've uh, subscribed before the show. And the first person to come and collect one this morning 
has been Andrew, obviously sort of like Wally Club member as well. So uh, thank you very much indeed, sort of like for, uh, for joining again us. again to our show. Yeah. Right, Saturday morning at Wally, and we can see the early starters ready to go. Celebrity time now. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm here. I'm here with the loco ladies, and let's get the names right: Karina, Carol, yep. and Alex. Yep. And uh, I'm standing here behind the uh, behind the crochet forest, which is uh, which is a big part of the uh, big part and one of the most memorable parts of the recent Great Model Railway <laughs> Challenge. Thank you. Uh, I, I think you, you've obviously enjoyed yourself terrifically on the uh, on the oh, TV yeah. program. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, we yeah. had a fabulous yeah, time. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. <laughs> and, and every, I mean, it, it was a competition, but I understand everybody was quite sort of you know, chiving each other along, and oh, there was yes. a good atmosphere. It was in a lovely the, atmosphere. Lo lovely yep. atmosphere in there. Yep. And, and now. You're um, now you're at Sunny Worley in a, in yes. a tin shed on the edge of Sully Hall Airport. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so cool. um, I can't quite believe that. No, it, we, we certainly didn't expect this. I mean, you weren't. I mean, presume you weren't expecting to take the layout out of the uh, out of the, the studio and, and bring it anywhere. So uh, it, it that must have been it interesting. It didn't come out very easily, actually. We, we have had to spend two or three weekends rebuilding it to get it to back to it where we want it. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be honest. It's looking really good. I mean, Thank this you. is this is dream train set time. How, how are the rest of the fam How are the rest of your families feeling about it? Oh. Um, <laughs> my, my my grandkids love it. They are all coming, bar one of them, yes. um, because they're the ones I started model rowing for right. anyway. And they're uh, coming either tomorrow or Sunday, and they all want to drive the trains. <laughs> Excellent. And I mean, we've got a we've got a real setup here. So we've got the whole layout back in, and it's all working now. I understand you've had to do a bit yeah. of work yes. to it. There's been yeah. a bit of wiring going yeah. on. Yeah. Um, I'm particularly excited to see how the boat works because uh, that, that that was one of my favourite animations of the show. It's absolutely brilliant. Chrissy did that. 
and she did a fantastic job because that is not an easy um, kit to put together that, that no. um, it's life a, it's, it's a labor of love it was it? Yeah. It, it's, it's a fiddly <laughs> kit that one um, but there's so much detail I mean I think what yeah. didn't come across on the program was just how much detail yes. there is on this layout yeah. Yeah. now uh, that was something that Steve mentioned didn't he when he Steve, yeah, Steve yeah. Flint was yeah. very taken with it, I think. And the truth of the matter is, that was our strength. Yes. Mm. Not particularly. Um, I mean, the track laying was fine. What we've done with it, we very deliberately had a heritage railway at the top level and a suburban railway further down. So it's very oh, simple, isn't it? It's very simple. Yeah. We had a few wiggles, we had a bit of height. But the important bit for us, actually, was making the models. And, and I mean, the scenics. I mean, yeah. th th this is it. As somebody who really enjoys making the models and really couldn't give a monkeys about operating the things, oh, I, I found yeah. that quite interesting. <laughs> but I, say, I mean, visually, there is just so much going. There is so much going on, and and of course, bits bits of the series. I mean, we've got the balloon, for example, oh, yes. from the Scratch yeah. Build Challenge. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, and, and the lighthouse. And the lighthouse. Yes. Yep. The and, and the, the surfboards, surfboards. Yeah. Yeah. surfboards on we, the beach. In fact, we actually, well, we think Jill was robbed, frankly, because we thought <laughs> yeah. what, what she did was so imaginative, it was really good. Yeah. Having said that, what the, the young man from the... Uh, Roman Kent did was fantastic. It, it, too, I think I know. think everybody did really well on that one. Yeah, and yeah. I have to say, as he mentioned the tip, I've got to mention the crochet the crochet <laughs> trees, which which I which I absolutely love. Oh, I think you. I think they, they they're colourful and they're fun and they they they're really in the spirit of this whole thing where you're doing uh, where, where we're enjoying ourselves. Yeah. yeah. But how long did they take to do? All right, I did two a night, and there were eighty of them. So that tells you how long it took. Right. Okay. So yes, there's there's quite a lot of work in those trees um, then. There was a bit, um, uh, but I, I didn't have a pattern. So when everybody kept saying, "Well, show us how to do it," yes. but it take me longer to show them how to do it than to make them, frankly. <laughs> Oh, um, so you're not going to give me crochet lessons then on the, uh, this weekend? I don't want to touch crochet again for a while, frankly. <laughs> the pattern is still in our head. Yes, okay. if it, it exists anywhere. And then, I mean, talking about this weekend, you've really put on a show because, I mean, we've got the layout here, but at the end we've got quizzes and competitions oh, for yes. people to take part yeah, in yeah. as well. And We're yeah, for punishment. <laughs> you, you are gluttons for punishment. There is an enormous pink box at the end, uh, yeah, at yeah, the end yeah. there, uh, and, I've, you know, and, and so we, you know, so we, we can actually we can do some do some spotting as well. So yep, yeah, yep. I think what, what's interesting is you, you you're a breath of fresh air in the sense of really uh, wanting to entertain oh, people. That's uh, thank you. Yeah. That. So um, that's great. Well, I, I, look, I hope you have a really good weekend. Thank, thank you. you. Um, yep. I'm certainly looking to come. I'm looking forward to coming back and having a proper look at the layout once it's all, once it's all up and running tomorrow. Thank but you. I have a feeling I might be pushing me way over the top of the crowd. <laughs> we have a suspicion the same, to be honest. That's why I'm a bit worried with my voice going. Right. I think we'll be talking to a lot of people <laughs> from what I've been told. Although, it, all right, the rest of you are probably thinking it's just as well. <laughs> right, well, I better let you rest your voice. Thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Lovely to see you.
12 months ago, Keith Ravel appeared with KR Model Stand at, uh, at Wally uh, with the GE, uh, GT3. And it's 12 months on, and a lot's happened in that time, hasn't it, Keith? Absolutely, it has, yeah. I mean, we've had a, we've had a very sharp learning curve, um, and uh, the market as well, you know, um, didn't really favour us at the time, which we didn't know anything about. But, uh, yeah, we, we came in, uh, in with a storm, and um, we seem to have, you know, weathered the... The, the the storm and we've we've uh, we've turned up now 12 months later with a fully working version of the uh, gt3 and ep sample yeah as you say it was quite a volatile time but uh, things happening absolutely in the marketplace. yeah and there was doubt from people as to how things were going you've uh, pushed on through that and sort of like well, things that we weren't seeing at the time here you are as you say 12 months later a working EP sample. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, there was a little bit of conjecture at the uh, the time about the mechanism. Yeah. And you were going to trial two different things. Yeah. We we um, the, the the version we have here has the full um, the full gearing in it that um, that seems to raise a, a bit of controversy. Um, we've got a second one um, which is actually having the sound chip fitted now, um, which we can announce has been uh, uh, created by uh, Lego Man Biffo. Uh, soon as he is the uh, industry guru um, and then um, we're going to exhaustively test these when we get back into the office next week because yeah. uh, these only arrived in the country uh, yesterday um, so uh, we've got a, a tight set second radius figure of eight that we're going to run it round continuously yeah. for four days yeah. uh, and just see exactly um, you know which is going to perform the better of the two some gradients and put some loads behind it well. yeah we've got an eight car rake um, lined up for it already um, it's going to be running through a uh, two percent um, uh, helix um, so that'll obviously you know put some serious strain on the motor um, and just see how everything pans out and obviously you know with that um, that level of testing we hope that we you know we can clear out any bugs and uh, and obviously you know, give something that is going to stand the test of time. Now, from an aesthetics point of view, I've never, uh, I never saw GT3, but obviously from the reference material I've looked at, that is actually looking very good. There's a lot of fine detail on there with the edges. Yeah. I like the radiators at the front end. It's looking well. Yeah. Uh, a few little bit more uh, bits to do. I mean, I haven't seen the number plate on this side yet. But... Yeah. The, the, the there is a few issues that um, that have been raised. Um, you know, s since its arrival. Um, they're only minor, there's nothing major that, that's like hugely wrong uh, with it. Um, so, uh, you know, it's, it, the, we've even got to the point where, you know, we're still on track as far as scheduling goes. We're definitely down for delivery for the second quarter of next year. Even to the point where we've got around a month to six weeks of wiggle room. Yeah. Um, if anything, you know, catastrophic happens. But yeah, we're set for production and assembly uh, to commence after the Chinese New Year and delivery still expected for the second quarter of next year. Okay, now, uh, obviously that's moving on quite quick, uh, quickly and a lot more faith obviously in your projected timelines I think from everybody now as they're seeing this. Yeah. But can we still order one? Uh, the order book is still open until November the 30th mm. uh, when we officially close it and then we can then give all the numbers then to the factory to say hey we've got you know so many crack on yeah are you happy with the uh, the numbers uh, stacked up all right considering we're uh, you know the the new kid on the block and um you know we we basically came in you know knowing nobody no one knew us all the all the history that went around um you know what happened earlier on in the year um i i think yeah we we've done really well i think i'm, I'm very happy i mean you know we've now got a professional stand um, you know, there's a lot of infrastructure that's now been set up in the background. Um, uh, I, we came last year as a team of one, me. We've now got a team of three. So, um, yeah, we, we're just, we have a five-year plan, which includes a lot of interesting models uh, in, the, in the works in the background. Um, hey, you were going to do the big flask wagon, but you've parked that one for now. Yeah, we've put that on hold for the time being because, um, unfortunately, the, the company that we were dealing with trying to get the information from the original one, um, weren't very forthcoming with a lot of the details uh, so unfortunately we, we, we couldn't pursue it any further with the timeline that we had uh, but we still have the all the you know the the semi-built CAD drawing so there's nothing stopping us if we ever get that information actually completing that and moving forward with it okay but you have got other things that you've got underway and you're making an announcement this weekend we are making an announcement this weekend uh, we are producing the fell so that will be available for people to 
uh, show their expression of interest to see if if enough bodies want it, shall we say? You yeah. know, but hopefully with uh, with the fact that you know we've come good with the the GT3, people will have a lot more confidence with us. Yeah. Uh, there's no reason. I mean, even to the point now, you know, we're still receiving emails. We've had a few today. Can I order from the show? Yes, people can order from the show. Yeah. Uh, we have order forms. We can we can take payments. Um, yeah, we want your money. So, you're going to do the film. Yep. Which has been, obviously, it's been a bit, a bit of a running joke for years on uh, RM Web. Yeah. It is ugly, isn't it? It's not the prettiest locomotive, if it had to be said. If that was yeah. your child, you'd hand it back to the maternity wife. Yeah. Um, yes. So, um, why do it? Basically, because we like a challenge. I mean, yeah. what, what more could we possibly say? I mean, um, no one else has obviously had the, had the you know, the, the, the foresight to actually do it, hence the GT3. Mm. Um, and our order book potentially could be full of a whole load of bunch of oddities. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting times. You'll have to put a smoke unit in the fell as well, I think, won't you? Um, would they really want to be reminded of its of its demise? Yeah, really yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I've got to say, well done, Keith. You've come a long way in 12 months. Yep. Good on you. Thank you very much.